just crossed over into the twilight zone. You are now traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it. Hey oh hey oh hey oh. Oh, I still got this stain. Whatever. I'm gonna start the video now. It's your boy CJ. We back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And guys, if you know where that's from, tell me down below. That's from. I think that's a lyric from a song. I do know the person or the group that does that lyric, but tell me down below. Guys, I'm excited. It is that time of the week, time of the month, whatever you want to say, and it ain't your period. I'm excited, people. I'm genuinely excited for these updates. I really am, because I like seeing what goes on Brandon Novak's life, and what goes on in Chris Pontius' life, and what goes on in Bam Margera's life. I really like inspecting it and seeing how it's going, even if it is going bad, which you might see in a little bit, or... Some people are doing really good for themselves, and you can just tell by them just talking. You really can. It's sometimes, people think I'm on some kind of drugs, which, weed, my prescripted Adderall. But, that's all I do. I know y'all trolls like to say other things, but, why wow, spit everywhere. And I got dog hair. Wow, I'm really looking rugged today. Sheesh. But guys... I'm just excited for you to watch this. I hope y'all enjoy this update. And, uh... And these updates are from any any point of the day. Whenever they feel like they're up for it, they give me these cameos, right? And so, if someone looks weird or if someone's acting strange, man, it could just be they're in a weird part of their life or they're just having a shitty day. My hat looks weird like that. But they could just be having a really shitty day. So don't really take these updates. Just take these updates with a grain of salt. Because, guys, I know what y'all going to say. I'm not going to mention it. But whatever. That's Guys, I'm just happy I get these updates. And I hope y'all enjoy them. I'm just going to keep on repeating myself and saying things in different ways that sound the same. So I'm just going to get out of here right now. It's your boy, CJ, and I'm a dip. Peace out. Hey CJ, this is Chris Pontius from Jackass and Wild Boys. And I'm very excited to answer these questions for you. How's it going in life? It's going great. <laughs> I, um, I'm very excited. Um, well, besides the madness that's going on right now, once we get through to this, I'm very excited for what I'm going to do next. Um, <laughs> what are my worst fears? I welcome fear. I love fear. I pull on fear's ears and make funny faces. I mean, come on! Um, do I have a moment in life that I regret? Um, well, when I was in eighth grade, I wished I ran away from home and um, moved to Tahiti. Um, and so I'm, I honestly kind of do regret not doing that. I don't know if I would have gotten in, but I still kind of would like to go to Tahiti. I mean, totally want to go to Tahiti. I mean, I love Tahiti. <laughs> um, what's your favorite genre of music? Um, oh, that always changes. I'm more of, I like songs. Um, you know, whether it's punk rock or country or gangster rap. Um, if it's a great song. I like David Bowie a lot today. Um, fuck. Everything. <laughs> um, um, is there anything in life that you want to tell? Is there anything you want to tell your fans? Yes. Thank you so much for sticking with me and my friends all these years. And really, my purpose and my biggest joy in life is making people laugh. And um, I'm so happy that I have people to to give that to. And um, I just want to give the world everything that I have to offer it. And that's I think that's what all of our mission in this world is. Whatever you know we are meant to do for this world. It's all about figuring that out and doing it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. You, Mr. CJ Halliday, what up, man? It's your brother from another mother, Mr. Brandon Novak. I am eternally 
sorry for taking so long to get back to you, my friend. But I've been thinking about you. You've been crossing my mind, and I'm really stoked you fucking checked in with me today. So uh, I'll explain why it took so long for me to get back to you, but let's get into it. Uh, what's my favorite board I ever had made? There's not really a favorite board I had made. Like, there's favorite shapes that I love, but my favorite skateboard of all times, hands down, was the Mike Vallali board um, with, the, with the elephant on the bottom. You know, the board that he had in the old pal video when he ran through the graveyard. That by far was my favorite board because with that board comes so many great memories of, of my early childhood and, and skateboarding and, and finding my passion and my purpose and, and just really being in the moment. And fuck, do I miss those times sometimes. Um, let's see. Who's your favorite skateboarder? Fuck, there's so many good ones out there, but I'd say at the moment it has to be Leandre Sanders. The dude is fucking amazing and, and, and just diabolical in so many ways, and I still don't know if he skates switch or regular. <laughs> um, yeah, but I love that dude. I could watch him for days and days and days. Uh, let's see. Uh, is... Is there anything that I want to tell my fans? Yes, what I do want to tell my fans is is I've, the last few days I've really been wrapped up in this um, new business venture that I'm on and, and this particular deal that I was, you know, completely consumed with. And I found out today that it didn't go the way that I wanted it to go, right? The way that I wanted it to go. But, but I know that, that things don't happen to me, they happen for me. And rejection is a form of God's protection. And, and I believe that this house wasn't meant for me that I was trying to purchase and another one will come along. But it doesn't negate the fact that I, I feel like disappointed and let down. And the fact of the matter is, the world's such a powerful place, and I know more so than most that I cannot control or dictate the outcome of the events that take place in this universe. So what I've learned is that the world has a way of right-sizing me, and it teaches me humility, it teaches me, it teaches me patience, but most importantly, it teaches me acceptance. And now I have to, to sit in it and be grateful that I can even feel. I'm grateful that I can feel this, this feeling of, of discomfort and disease. And, and, and I know from my past experiences to date that, that it's going to be okay and it's going to work out and, and I'll, I'll make it through this. And, and I'll look back one day and laugh on this. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. Um, and, and I'm very grateful to have friends like you in my life. Uh, my cat, Theodore, in my life. You know, just the simple things in life that, that, that really matter. CJ Halliday, I love you, buddy. God bless you. Take care.